Hobby Lobby, you take all my money. But it's okay, because it's a hobby to go shopping at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Here's some awesome ways for you guys to save money when you go shopping at Hobby Lobby. Hey guys, what is up? This is Oksana with Craft & More Design, where we talk about all things sublimation, laser machine, DIY, and the home. I really gotta say that less. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys five ways to save money at Hobby Lobby that's gonna help you really save some money. Shopping with a baby. But in reality, I lied because I'm actually giving you like eight tips. So be sure to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Let's go ahead and get started. Money saving tip number one. There is a schedule for the sales at Hobby Lobby that does rotate. So it's important that you are familiar with those. I will post the link below just to give you the breakdown. But home decor and wall accents are always 50% off bi-weekly. So if you miss one week, come the next week the other week. Those are always rotating on a bi-weekly schedule. The furniture is always 30% off. The photo framing and the custom framing are always 50% off. The fabrics are 30% off. There are certain things that are always on sale. The crafts and jewelry making supplies do rotate up to 50% off every three weeks. Other departments rotate out every two to four weeks. This leads me to point number two. Let's say you do go shopping and you get the item, didn't realize it wasn't on sale. They do price adjustments up to 14 days. Just come back bring your receipt with the item and they will refund you the difference now this is easier said than done because I brought back a lot of items to price match and what they ended up doing is just returning everything and then I bought everything again I didn't really feel like it was a very easy process but it is good to know that you can at least get that money adjusted and refunded somewhere somehow Hi, buddy. <laughs> tip number three and this is the clearance aisles. The clearance aisles at Hobby Lobby are scattered all throughout the stores. Sometimes they'll have just little sections, sometimes they'll have it near the top, opposite sides of the store, and it is intentional. They do mark it down every six to eight weeks for an additional 40% off their current price. Now, if you look for those red tags, those are pretty final. A lot of these clearance items, I will admit, are broken or in really, really bad condition. For example, this mirror right behind me. But if you are able to deal DIY it, you can totally savage some of the stuff. I would easily take off those beads and I would put it onto another round mirror of my choice that I already had or utilize it for another project. So that's kind of the point for any of those broken items or frames. With the clearance items, usually twice a year, they will mark these accents up an additional discount, even up to 90% off. And this is typically done twice a year, usually right after the Christmas holiday and through February. And the other time is usually right after Mother's Day, kind of through mid-July. There are peak seasons of clearance aisles where you will see them be extremely full and amazing. This mirror is so pretty, oh my gosh. And other times where it's just a bunch of broken junk. Like this random item right here. Like what is all of this crazy stuff? Himalayan, <laughs> Himalayan salt crystal LED string lights. <laughs> That's so random. Tip number four. Or Michaels and Joann's do competitor ad matches for the item. It has to be the exact item and you have to have the copy of the competitor's ad. And last but not least, we have tip number five. If you see an item that is slightly damaged or maybe you're not super happy with it, you can politely ask for an additional 10 to 15% off, especially as a DIYer. I know that I could fix it myself or I might just not care. I promised you guys a bonus tip. Now that I think about it, I have two bonus tips. One, if you are a charitable organization, a church, a school, they will actually give you 10% off, especially if you're purchasing in bulk. Last bonus money saving hat, Ooh, that's a mouthful. They will typically start out with anything that's holiday or seasonal at 40% off, eventually hit 50% off as it gets closer to that holiday or that season. And then usually as soon as that holiday hits and about two weeks after, they will discount it up to 80 to 90 percent off did you know there are some things that basically always remain on sale these coffee signs would have been so cute in my coffee bar makeover if you have not seen that video already i will post it right over here it is such an awesome video you have to go check it out is it right over here no that would have been <laughs> 